Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Sai Kiran and I'm today here to share my Micron interview experience with you. Uh, like Micron interview, Micron has came to Bitspilani for uh, campus placements uh, and it has came for three profiles. One is SIC verification engineer, other one is a CAD engineer and the third one is memory verification engineer and they were asked us to fill our preferences. So my first preference was SIC verification engineer and later there was a uh, test written test and based on that we were shortlisted for the respective profile based on our preferences. Uh, so the, there are total three rounds of uh, interviews in this procedure. One is the written test followed by a technical round and followed by a HR come managerial round. The written test basically consisted of three sections and total duration of 75 minutes. Uh, so the three sections were aptitude, C programming and technical. Uh, aptitude section included uh, logical reasoning, data interpretation, and aptitude level, the regular pipes, and other aptitude level questions. So it was not too easy or not too hard. It was moderate. Uh, so it's not too tough to, you can just be a basic preparation of this would suffice your uh, aptitude skills. And the second round is the programming round, uh, where majority of the questions were from programming language, which are C or CPP, and slightly one or two questions are from Python. And a minority of section even touch data structures and computer organization and partly into algorithms and all. But yes, you can say that the major part of the C language or the programming section is a language. They will be asking about what's the error in this particular code or what's the output that's expected from this particular code. Something of those kind are the majority. And the third section is uh, technical section. It consisted of digital and analog mostly and digital mostly you can say around 75% of the questions are from digital section and 20 25 from analog section slightly the other topics of our uh, btex course edc or the other stuff but yes the gate level preparation if you have a strong basics on your gate level preparation that can do that and time was okay you need to slightly check on the time the questions that our level of the questions were inapt with the time that they are given if you just spend time on one particular question, then that might hamper the next sections of that. So but one best thing is if you can't attempt one question, or if something is not striking to you regarding that question, it's better you move to the next part, next question in respective sections. Uh, and in aptitude section also, it was like there were uh, logical reasoning questions. There are the logical or data kind of questions. If you try solving that complete paragraph, it might take some time. So you might better skip that initially and complete all individual questions and then you can go for that section because that's time consuming so that, that after doing the remaining questions it's better you come back to your logical or data kind of questions uh, coming to preparation strategy for a written exam uh, for the aptitude section one can prepare from india bix or rs agarwal or any standard textbook or any standard material that's there for aptitude uh, and timing is a constraint while whatever you are preparing or whatever source from which you are preparing, uh, better keep a track of the timing that you are, uh, time that you are taking to solve one particular problem. So that as timing is an important factor in the examination. Now, uh, you practicing along with the time constraint is a good added advantage while you are practice. Uh, coming to C programming and uh, other programming languages, uh, Geeks for Geeks is a good uh, platform to learn with or start with. If you have basic knowledge on any language, it gives you a better idea. If not, there are basic section. I mean, it starts from the very basics and give, takes you to advanced concepts in that. So any programming language can be learned from Geeks for Geeks. And there are questions in India Bix which can be solved so that you can get an idea on how good your uh, preparation is. Uh, coming to uh, technical section, uh, your gate level questions are fine. Mostly the one mark questions that you encounter in gate, uh, that is the level that you will see in this exam too. So previous year papers or any other gate materials which you might have solved during your grade paper. If not, the, the standard of those materials would be reasonably fine to solve these questions. But uh, totally I have prepared, I mean, like after my semester exam, I got around 20 to 30 days of time. So in this 30 time days, I mostly focused on uh, written exam because written, clearing the written exam is the first priority, then comes the interview. And as part of this, you will get to even do certain things that would be even part of interview process. So yes, yeah, 20 days of proper preparation on all these topics, aptitude or any C language and your gate level stuff would uh, be fine enough to clear this written exam. After getting shortlisted from the written exam, uh, so I, uh, my interview was scheduled on the next day itself. So there was this technical round which was scheduled for one hour. 
so in this one hour there were two panelists interviewing me so initially when i joined the meet they started with certain questions on sram and dram and yes micron being one big company in memory design so reading memory related like sram and drams and other memory related designs is a real good practice to do real good thing to do so yeah for the first 10 minutes of the interview uh, they were asking me about the sram and dram how to access data from that how to read and write from data and the basic principle principle behind uh, act, uh, this accessing and all these things uh, later after the first 10 minutes there the majority of the meeting for the next 40 minutes it was mostly on digital electronic section digital and static timing you can say so initially they started with uh, combinational circuit the total journey for this 40 minutes has been very smooth transition you can say they started with basically combinational circuits they have given for some problem statements on muxes how to design a particular thing only using muxes and they were asking basic questions on decoders and all from that they have moved to sequential circuits where in sequential circuits they were asking about counters uh, and design of synchronous and asynchronous counters what's the difference between them and how one should design a synchronous one and how one should design a, uh, a synchronous counter and after which he asked me about the fsm models the miller and murray circuits and the basic difference between them and he was asking like what's the design approach for one who is using a more app methodology and one who is using a miller methodology so that was something uh, basic stuff and theoretical mostly so after which the, they moved to static timing analysis so in static timing analysis they started with the whole time and set up time definition and then they were just tweaking the same diagram slightly here and there asking how this particular change uh, causes an impact on hold violation or how this impacts the setup time and what are the methods that one should do in order to change uh, uh, rectify the is violations and they were even posing questions like what happens what is disadvantage of this particular approach like if i was saying a method that uh, rectifies the timing violation then what's the disadvantage or what's the downside of that one and if i gave a met- second method and what's the downside of what's the pros and cons of all the methods that uh, can be used to rectify a design method and it will last it for around 5 10 minutes of this st and stuff and by around by 15 minutes of the total time my technical part was done there's only 10 minutes left so they were i mean there was 10 minutes extra left i can say that so they asked me about my projects the projects that i have done in my master's course uh, i explained them very well and they were quite satisfied with that so after which the the meet just end, ended i mean the, the technical round ended with the, these concepts after the technical round i got an a call immediately in 10 minutes saying that i should be available for manager round and yes manager round was one person there is the one guy who is a manager of complete asic division in micron he was taking the interview so he initially started with an overview of technical knowledge like uh, what are the favorite subjects you had what are your strong subjects and what are the subjects you learned kind of then he was going slightly the technical side asking the differences between sram and dram and what are the designs where sram is preferred and where dram is preferred and after which he went to the managerial section which were i mean a, uh, quite common managerial questions were asked why micron followed by which where do you want to see yourself in 3 years or 5 years followed by they were he was asking about what are your expectations from the team or from the company and what are your dream companies followed by which i have certain experience in industry so he was asking about my earlier experience the roles and regulation roles and duty responsibilities that i have taken care in my experience and how that helped me to understand the corporate structure and how that can be useful to the the current i mean micron company he was checking on that he was more interested in understanding my analysis or my thinking approach there was nothing like this character i am saying character not nothing like that he just wanted to see what's your what's running in your brain kind of how do you analyze a problem that's given to you so this lasted for around 40 45 minutes after which yeah this went fine like uh, and then at the end of this meeting i mean end of this interview round he asked the puzzle which was quite simple puzzle so after solving that puzzle he said yes we can wind up for this meeting and yes this was overall a good experience a good managerial round uh, coming to the preparation strategy as it is seen that my interview mostly was in sta so sta for sta preparation i have referred to two blogs one is vlsa guide and other one is vlsa experts and these are real good sites like uh, you can find from scratch from the basic definition of setup and hold time and 
to how they can be overcome in real life examples and all so this is one good site and i suggest that one can you see this and coming to memory design like if you are going for a company like micron which has a big footprint in memory design so memory reading about memories are a important thing to do so i have gone through uh, neil and harris textbook for memory design and for the digital design the uh, regular morris meno would be fine enough uh, if you have good understanding on morris meno and even the gate problems that you have solved will give you an idea on combinational and sequential circuits just that you they will just tweak something here and there so that uh, how you go and approach or how you try to attack that one that's what mostly they try to do then that's fine enough your basic btech level understanding of digital design is fine enough for that and those two blocks which i have mentioned are reasonably good for static training analysis uh, like one advice i can give to people who are uh, attending the interview is uh, there won't be and don't take too much after the interviewers who are there are really friendly with me there was no panic or something they were in an, at any point if i was stuck with uh, my answer or something they were trying to give me certain hints and they are seeing how i am coming or how i'm coming to an answer or how you can say how i am thinking or approaching that one and the, even the manager round the, and the technical round both the rounds went very much cool just be confident in your approach if you have basic knowledge on the topics you confidence automatically comes with it so there's no point of getting panicked on your big day so be cool headed and try to answer him with proper confidence and analytical analytical thinking before starting my preparation i have gone through a few videos of this planet skill i have as my seniors have also done the same so they have uploaded their videos on planet skill so i have gone through them for different companies so at the at the point is like most of the companies will try to uh, check in a similar way so these videos help me to understand the pattern of an interview more basically basically to say they understand the pattern like a written exam how to crack that uh, technical round how that can be solved by or which sites to refer in order to clear them and how to present yourself in an interview all these things like were very much this uh, initiated this planet skill like all and and number of videos that they have uploaded so seeing everything will make you understand the pattern of this and make you have your own strategy to clear a interview all the best all the best to everyone